It's time now for the Glaston Local Sports and Sports. The Board of Education approved the hiring of John Mooring as Wayne County's next head football coach and assistant athletic director. Mooring comes from Savannah Country Day, where he was head football coach there the past three seasons. He's also coached at Valdosta State and Arkansas State. Mooring hired last night again as the next football coach at Wayne County High School. We look forward to meeting him, bringing his comments, lining up the interview hopefully sometime today. but to bring his comments here tomorrow on local sports. Wayne County baseball team wins the Game one of the region schedule last night with a 6-0 win over Burke County at Howard Bill Warren Field. Senior pitcher Gavin Mixon went five strong innings, allowed just two hits, striking out five. Junior Isaiah Lee closed it out, pitching the final two innings, striking out three. Line scores in the game, Wayne County six runs on five hits, no errors. Burke no runs on two hits. They committed six infield errors. Tyler Walling two for three. Garrison Grantham one for one with two runs batted in and two runs scored. Carson Shaver one for two and Eli Grantham one for three. Those players accounted for the five hits last night for Wayne County. Doubleheader scheduled for Friday at Burke. They were hoping to move it to Thursday, but due to umpires not being available, it's still scheduled for Friday. So if it changes, we'll let you know. But right now it's planned for Friday afternoon, 4.30, game one, and game two, 30 minutes after game one. Boys tennis team in action Tuesday with BC. BC wins the match 4-1. Doubles team of Owen Scott and Davin Frazier won for Wayne County. Varsity girls soccer team lost to Southeast Bullock 1-0, but the boys team wins by a score of 4-0. Three goals by Emmanuel Herrera. A nice shutout win for the boys varsity soccer team yesterday over Southeast Bullock. The JV baseball team in action today at home taking on Jeff Davis at 5-30. Arthur Williams Middle School baseball team plays for the conference championship in Blackshear against Pierce County. That game time has been set for 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. JV golf team in action yesterday against Brunswick Glen Academy in Camden. Jackets placed third out of four teams with a score of 197. Low scores were Judah Dennison with a 44 and Cole Driggers with a 48. This Sunday, NCAA basketball brackets will be filled out as the field will be set Sunday evening. This week, the ACC and SEC basketball tournaments are underway. SEC event, event gets underway this afternoon, there, or to, this evening, I should say, being played in Nashville, Tennessee, today's schedule, Arkansas against Vanderbilt at 7. Tonight, Georgia takes on Missouri at 9.30. Thursday, LSU takes on Mississippi State at 1. South Carolina gets the winner of the Arkansas-Vandy game tomorrow at 3.30. And Florida gets the winner of the Georgia-Missouri game tonight, that game tomorrow at 9.30. Another game Thursday at 7 p.m., Texas A&M against Ole Miss. ACC basketball tournament being played in Washington, D.C. Today at 12 noon, FSU takes on Virginia Tech. At 2.30, Notre Dame takes on Wake Forest. And at 7 p.m. tonight, NC State plays Syracuse. Once again, champions crown Sunday. Sunday night, the brackets will be revealed. And the NCAA basketball tournament gets underway next week. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.